Is it the right time to buy or sell Mullen Automotive stock? Today, we're delving deep into Mullen Automotive, providing you with an even more comprehensive analysis than our initial report published on Thursday, January 4, 2024. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest analysis. Don't miss any critical updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be regarded as financial advice. Since January 2, 2024, our system has identified Mullen Automotive as a strong sell candidate, with a score of negative 5.55. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. The stock witnessed a loss of 1.32%. This translates to an average daily loss of 0.44% since it was categorized as a strong sell candidate. In the short term, the stock is currently in a falling trend, offering a potential selling opportunity for short-term traders. It is expected to react back towards the lower part of the trend. However, if the stock breaks above the top trend line at $12.74, it could indicate a slower falling rate and possibly a shift in the trend. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a projected minus 71.59% change over the next three months. This suggests a potential return between minus 92.52% and minus 71.49%. The 12-month trend indicates a minus 99.81% change over the next year. This translates to a potential return between minus 100% and minus 101.15%, resulting in a price range of $0 to dash $0.145. In our latest update on Mullen Automotive, we have some important news. The stock has been downgraded from a sell candidate to a strong sell candidate after Thursday's trading session. Let's take a closer look at the stock performance. On the last trading day, which was Thursday, January 4, 2024, the Mullen Automotive stock price increased by 0.237%, going from $12.66 to $12.69. Throughout the day, the price fluctuated between a low of $12.20 and a high of $13.41, showing a 9.93% difference. Over the past two weeks, there has been a 41% gain. However, it's important to note that the volume of shares traded decreased by 508,000 shares on the last day. In total, approximately 917,000 shares were bought and sold, amounting to a value of $11.64 million. This reduction in volume on higher prices could indicate a divergence and serve as an early warning for potential changes in the coming days. Now, let's look at the stock's performance over the past 52 weeks. The highest price recorded during this period was $10,800, while the lowest price was $6.95. Currently, the stock is trading at a price that is 99.88% lower than its 52-week high, which amounts to $10,787.31. The stock is also significantly below its all-time high recorded on January 3, 2022, when it reached $131,850. The current price is 99.99% lower than that peak, amounting to $131,837.31. Analyst Ratings In a recent report on Tuesday, November 1, 2022, it was revealed that Citigroup has downgraded MULN, giving it a reduced grade. According to analysts, Mullen Automotive stock has received a general rating of buy. The P-E ratio is rated as strong buy, while the price-to-book ratio is also rated as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of strong sell. Let's take a look at the signals for Mullen Automotive. Today, the stock of Mullen Automotive is showing mixed signals. The short-term moving average suggests a buy signal, while the long-term average indicates a sell signal. The fact that the long-term average is higher than the short-term average suggests a more negative forecast for the stock. 
If the stock continues to rise, it will face resistance from the long-term moving average at $14.82. On the other hand, if the stock falls, it may find support from the short-term average at $12.67. Breaking through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while falling below the short-term average will strengthen the sell signal. On Friday, December 29, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, resulting in a minus 11.20% decline so far. It is expected to fall further until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, indicates a buy signal. Despite gaining prices, the volume fell during the last trading day, creating a divergence between volume and price, which could be an early warning. It is advised to closely monitor the stock. Today, I'm going to share with you some interesting signals to look out for in your trading journey. Let's dive in. The moving average convergence divergence indicator recently gave a buy signal, indicating a potential opportunity. Pivots, on the other hand, provided a sell signal four days ago, suggesting a possible exit point. Bollinger Bands, a popular volatility indicator, generated a buy signal 548 days ago, highlighting a positive trend. The short-term moving average also provided a buy signal 10 days ago, indicating a potential uptrend. Now, let's analyze the 12-month chart to gain a broader perspective. The short moving average gave a sell signal 4 days ago, suggesting a possible downturn. The long-term moving average also indicated a sell signal 223 days ago, potentially signaling a bearish trend. However, the relation between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal 211 days ago, indicating a possible reversal in the market. Don't forget to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more valuable signals and insights. Today, let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Mullen Automotive. When it comes to support levels, Mullen Automotive has some key ones to watch out for. Currently, there is support just below today's level at $11.04 and $11. It's important to understand that when a stock is testing a support level, there is always a risk involved. If the current support level is broken, the stock may then fall to the next support level. In this case, the next support levels for Mullen Automotive are at $11.04 and $9.84. So, keep an eye on these levels as they could be important for the stock's future movements. Now, let's talk about the risk associated with Mullen Automotive. This stock is considered to be very high risk due to its high volatility. Volatility refers to the stock's tendency to move significantly during the day. In the case of Mullen Automotive, it has been experiencing a large amount of volatility recently. The Bollinger Band, a technical indicator, indicates a very large prediction interval for this stock, further highlighting its high risk nature. On the last trading day, the stock had a price difference of $1.21 between its high and low, which is equivalent to a 9.93% fluctuation. And over the past week, the stock has had an average daily volatility of 21.88%. So, if you're considering investing in Mullen Automotive, keep in mind the support levels and the high risk associated with this stock. It's important to be aware of these factors before making any investment decisions. Before we move forward and discuss the potential trading levels for Mullen Automotive, let's take a moment to understand some important fundamental data. One such crucial data point is the price-to-earnings ratio, commonly known as the P-E ratio. This ratio helps us understand a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that a company is either experiencing losses or has negative earnings. It's not uncommon for established companies to face downturns, often due to factors beyond their control. However, if a company consistently maintains a negative P-E ratio, it may suggest insufficient profits and potential risks of bankruptcy. Moving on, let's talk about the upcoming earnings report for the fourth quarter of 2023. The report is expected to be released on January 11, 2024. Today, we're going to explore some potential day trading levels for Mullen Automotive. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for Mullen Automotive stands at $14.12. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait until this level is breached before entering a position. However, if you already hold the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. 
On the other hand, if Mullen Automotive experiences a downward movement, it encounters its first support level at $11.04. Should this support level hold, it could serve as a favorable entry point, with the potential for a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, Mullen Automotive has received a combined average rating of buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. In the most recent insider transactions, Mishiri David bought and sold a total of 18,315,176 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 47.423. Overall, insiders have purchased a total of 199,825,595 shares and sold 67,761,615 shares in the last 100 trades. We have conducted a thorough evaluation of this stock and unfortunately, our assessment is negative. It is important to note that no stop loss has been set for this particular stock. Is Mullen Automotive stock a good buy? Currently, Mullen Automotive shows several negative signals and is expected to perform weekly in the coming days or weeks. Therefore, our evaluation of this stock is negative. We have downgraded our analysis conclusion from a sell to a strong sell candidate due to some minor weaknesses in the technical picture. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. On Friday, January 5th, we anticipate Mullen Automotive to open up at $12.77, with an initial increase of $0.0774. Before we begin, it's important to note that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. It is highly recommended that you consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. Please be aware that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing the information provided, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we're going to take a look at the current view of this stock. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so don't forget to comment below and share your opinion. We're also curious about your target for the stock. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights. Our team wishes you the best of luck in your trading endeavors and a wonderful day ahead.